So recently I've been asked a couple of questions about the X-Carve. One of them being how to set up the automatic spindle feature and the other one was to kind of go over the Arduino and Garble Shield. So let's do that today. Okay, so the first thing we can go over is the Arduino and Garble Shield. Now this top one that's connected to your stepper motors, this is going to be your Garble Shield. This gets information from the Arduino and sends um, information to the stepper motors. <clears throat> Underneath it yeah. Okay, so this board on the bottom, that's going to be Arduino. I'm not going to pull this apart because it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to get these back together. But basically the Arduino is what takes the information from your computer and translates it to the garble shield. <clears throat> so when you're when you're putting this together um, you want to make sure that these pins are all the way fully seated uh, let's see if I can get a picture all these pins that connect to the Arduino need to be fully seated uh, if you are not fully seated um, there's just a variety of things that can happen. Some things can work, other things will not work. Um, the computer will read your Arduino, but you won't be able to connect to Easel or UGS, whatever you're using. Um, just the multiple things that can, that can go wrong if you're not seated properly. Okay, now we'll take a look at the spindle control wires and these pins here. These will be controlling your limit switches and your spindle control. Now when you get your X-Carve, you'll have an 8 pin. I've got two 4 pins. Um, I originally was going to put each one on its own individual pin but I ordered the wrong ones I got the four pins so I've got two four pins instead of all separate pins but regardless when you hook them up okay your spindle is going to be the yellow and the black and that I believe it starts this whole pins start at 8 so 8 is going to be empty 9 is going to have a limit switch 10 is going to have a limit switch 11 will have your spindle hot which is the yellow wire 12 will be a limit switch 13 will be empty and then it's your ground pin so your ground for your spindle will be hooked up to that one and then the very last one will be empty I was also asked the question how I keep my pins in and it's held in right there I've actually got my whole enclosure flipped around uh, I have my stepper motors coming out the front and I have these limit switches and the spindle control coming out the back. I just figured the smaller wire would be easier to kind of loop around where it wouldn't come out. Um, then I'm just holding the loop in with a couple of zip ties. Now if you come around into the front. Uh, where am I? Okay. Come around to the front, you've got a small Phoenix plug, two pin. Okay, you're going to have on the, looking at it on the left side is your yellow wire, right side is the ground. 
So that's the two pin Phoenix plug. And then you wanna make sure that your spindle switch is on auto, which is down, logic. It'll say logic. So make sure that's down. So that's the wiring. And let me come on over here. When you open up easel, you're gonna go, well, when you first set it up, you'll be launching this from the instructions, I'm assuming. And uh, you have to download your easel local and all that good stuff. And then it will automatically take you to the setup page. What I'm gonna do is go the long way into the setup page. Okay, uh, one thing I forgot, I unplugged my USB when I showed you guys the Arduino and Garble Shield, so I'm going to plug that back in, it should communicate with my computer now. Let's go back to easel. Confirm my settings and COM4. Now it should take. All right, <clears throat> from here, you're going to go through these steps. And each time you hit it, it should move. All those work you're gonna hit yes on all these now here's where the spindle setting is you want to turn this to automatic save preference I'm gonna click spindle turn spindle on <laughs> That should set up your automatic spindling. Um, if you have limit switches, you can home your limit switches. I'm gonna disable mine because my easy access is broken off. I've broken, <laughs> I've broken about three of them. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna disable mine. And from there, you're good to go. Now when you go and load up your project it should automatically turn on your spindle okay if you still cannot get your spindle to come on automatically here's a few things that you can check you want to check your garble shield setting down onto your arduino like i mentioned at the beginning you want to make sure that your wires are set into these pins properly and that your connector is pushed on the pin header properly. You want to make sure that your spindle is in logic. Make sure that your wires are properly connected into the two pin Phoenix plug and that there's no frays that may be crossing. Um, you'll want to check your solder on your pin header, when you put that together, you had to solder the pin header together. You might want to check your soldering. And aside from that, um, that's all the advice I would be able to give you.
Um, if it's still not working, you would definitely have to contact Inventable support team. Um, they may have some other troubleshooting steps you can take, or they may determine that you need to replace your Arduino or garble shield. Okay, so hopefully this video has helped a few of you, maybe answered some questions or helped fix a problem. Um, if it has, leave me a comment below. If you have any further questions, go ahead and comment below or you can email me. Uh, my email address is on my about page. And I think that is it. Till next time, stay safe.